hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so in this video tutorial we will talk about expression or you can say interpolation so expression or interpolation are used to bind application data to html expression and they are written inside a double curly braces like this the, the expression or interpolation are written inside these braces so guys let me just give you an example over expression or interpolation so right here we will open up a, a h1 tag oops and remove these brackets and right here we will type my first my first expression and now we will open up uh, two curly braces and then we will close that and inside these uh, braces we will type 5 plus 5 and now when we run our application it will not give us uh, the exact text as we write over here 5 plus 5 it will give us uh, the result of this I mean if we run this app it will uh, show on the screen as my first expression and then 10 so let me just run this okay so compile successfully so okay guys as you can see right here my first expression and then 10 so it didn't give us uh, the output as it is uh, written right here 5 plus 5 it just give, uh, give us the exact answer so in this way we can use expression or interpolation so this means that expression will resolve uh, oh i mean angular will resolve the expression and then it will return the result exactly where the expression is written as you can see right here 5 plus 5 and when we run our application it just give us the exact result which is 10 and if we type 5 minus 5 and when it compiled successfully as you can see right here it is now zero so in this way you can use expression or interpolation and guys let me just tell you that expression can also contain operators and variables and also literals angular expression is uh, similar to the javascript expression so this example was a very basic example of uh, expression uh, now let me just give you an another example on this uh, expression so right here we will create a property which will be a public property and we will name this as uh, let's let's just say first name and the first name will be equals to coding so now how we will uh, call this property right here and how we will use this inside and uh, inside ex inside the expression so for that we will create a tag let's just say h2 and then we will use this double curly braces and then inside these braces we will type welcome and then we will use the plus sign and then we will type uh, what was the property name first name so welcome and then first name and now if we check our browser here as you can see right here welcome and then we call the property first name and the first name is equals to coding so as you can see right here coding let me just give a little bit space right there so now it looks good so in this way you can use variables inside expressions and now if we create another property for the last name which will be equals to cafe which is our channel name coding cafe and right here now we will call the last name so for that we will add a plus sign and then last name like this so now it will show welcome coding cafe and bam you can see right here 
welcome coding cafe and guys inside expression you can also show the name length okay the first name length or the last name length to the user so let me just give you an example we will create a h2 tag okay and inside this h2 tag we will open up braces and then we will type first name and then dot dot length so now this will print out the first name uh, length how many characters are in that word so as you can see right here six c o d i n g okay coding which, which are six words and you can see right here it says six and now if we want to show this uh, coding cafe or only the coding or the first name in uppercase letters we can also do that inside expression so for that we will create another h2 tag and inside this h2 tag we will again open up curly braces and inside here we will type first name which is the property name and then dot and then two capital u and then uh, small double p e r and then case so the first name will be now changed to uppercase okay i think we did something wrong right here let's just go back and also we need to add these brackets and bam as you can see right here coding is now all in the uppercase letters and you can also change it to lowercase letters by just changing the upper to lower and guys let me just tell you this that you can also call methods uh, which are defined in the component class for example if we go back to the body.component.ts file and after this ng on ind after that method we will create a new method we will name this method as welcome user okay i think this name is good welcome user so this is our new method and now inside this method we will type uh, return space and then we'll type welcome and then we will use the plus sign or you can say the addition sign and then this dot first name which is our property right here first name add a semicolon at the end so this is our new method and we can also now call this new method inside the expression so if you go back to the body dot component we will create another h2 tag so the method name is welcome user welcome user and then brackets and now if you check our browser as you can see right here welcome coding cafe so okay guys these are some basic uh, examples on expression so i hope you will now understand what expression is and how you can use expressions inside angular basically angular js binds binds data to html using expression so in this way you can uh, remember the expression and these are some basic examples so i hope you understand what expression or interpolation is so thank you guys for watching and this is it for this video and uh, we will meet in the next video tutorial for angular js so thank you guys and subscribe our channel coding cafe and press the bell icon